All right, so we all know the basic iPhone gestures like tapping, swiping, and zoom. So today we are going beyond the basics. We'll take a look at 15 iPhone gestures that might just change the way you use your phone, whether you're new to iOS or a seasoned pro. Hey, how's it going, folks? Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Zane, and I like to talk about everything Apple. All right, let's get started. Imagine you typed a message, and while trying to correct it, you accidentally delete more than you intended to, or worse, the entire text vanishes. It's frustrating because now you have to retype it. Well, no more. Double tap with three fingers anywhere above the keyboard, and boom, your text is back. Additionally, if you tap once with three fingers, a bar appears on the top with options to undo and redo. This will work in any app and has saved me from retyping more times than I can count. Selecting text on your iPhone is just as simple. Double tap on any word to select it and triple tap to select the entire paragraph. This is much easier than dragging and adjusting those tiny selection handles. Continuing with text editing, we know that you can shake your iPhone to undo. However, it's hard not to look ridiculous while doing that. Here's a less conspicuous way. Simply swipe left with three fingers to undo, and then swipe right to redo. Okay, so this one will take a little practice to get used to and might not be used that often. To copy text, simply pinch in using three fingers on any selected text, and then pinch out to paste. You can keep pinching out to paste multiple times, and if you need to cut instead of copy, simply pinch in twice. Organizing your notes in structure is just as easy without having to dive into the menu. Swipe left one or more times on the text to indent. And then to decrease the indentation, simply swipe left to outdent. Now, we're familiar with turning the keyboard into a trackpad by holding down the space bar. This allows you to position the cursor exactly where you need it, and it works amazingly. Another way to do the same is by using two fingers and then dragging them around. Additionally, once you have placed the cursor at your desired location, tap and hold with two fingers and then drag. This gesture allows you to select the text. Selecting photos one at a time can be tedious. Simply hit select and then drag your finger to select multiple photos at once. And better yet, drag your finger diagonally to batch select them. And while we're at it, you can select and unselect multiple items using two fingers and then dragging. Selecting these emails, for example. Diving deep into a website can leave you several pages from where you started. Instead of swiping back repeatedly to get back to the main page, tap and hold the back button to see a history list. Jump back to exactly where you need to be. This is very handy on websites that don't let you go back and simply keep refreshing the same page. Instead of hitting the tab button to navigate between your open tabs, simply swipe left or right on the address bar to switch between them. Same goes for switching between your open apps. Instead of engaging the app switcher, simply swipe left or right on the bottom edge of your screen. This is great for when you're multitasking between the apps. When browsing long pages in Safari, we normally keep swiping to scroll. I find it easier to scroll once to reveal the scroll bar and then tap and hold it. Now drag it for a more controlled scrolling experience. Similarly, to adjust the volume, instead of using the control center or repeatedly pressing the volume buttons, press the volume button once to bring up the volume indicator and then tap and hold it. Now drag it to adjust the volume to your liking. We normally zoom in and out on maps using the pinch motion. Alternatively, you can double tap and hold and then drag to zoom as well. This gesture is perfect for the times when your other hand is occupied. Oftentimes, it's hard to reach the top of your screen when you're using your phone with one hand. Simply engage reachability by dragging down on the bottom edge of your screen. This brings the top into reach. Make sure this option is turned on for you by going to Settings, Accessibility, Touch, and the Reachability toggle is on. Typing accented characters on your iPhone doesn't require switching keyboards. Instead, simply tap and hold the letter on the keyboard and a pop-up will appear showcasing all the available accent options for that letter. Simply slide your finger over to the character that you need. Additionally, if you're using your phone with one hand, the one-handed keyboard is a game changer. Simply tap and hold the globe or the emoji icon on the keyboard and select the left or the right-handed option. This shifts the keys to one side of the screen, making it much easier to type. And there you have it, 15 iPhone gestures that may just change the way you interact with your device. Are any of these new to you or do you have any favorite gestures that I didn't cover? I would love to hear about them, so please drop me a comment below. And finally, I would like to take a quick moment and say, if you found this information helpful, please do consider liking and subscribing as that helps this video reach others. I'm a small channel, so your support means the world to me. Thank you for being awesome and for watching. Until next time, peace.